I was going to show you this uh, paint can mixer for rattle cans, especially uh, when I'm working on the uh, laser engraver and I want to do a uh, tile or glass or anything like that. Sometimes I would use this uh, cold galvanizing compound which has a lot of solids in it because it's zinc rich and that means it's really hard to get it shaken up enough and get all of those solids in suspension so that they get an even coat on what I'm trying to do. So what I took was a piece of PVC pipe, just a short piece that any spray can could fit inside of without any problem. Uh, an end cap, I haven't even glued it, I just pushed the end cap on there. I had drilled a hole in it, got a quarter inch bolt out of my junk drawer put a knot on that and tighten the bolt up. That way you can take that bolt and put it into your drill, whatever kind of drill you have, and you have a spinner. Now if you were going to get fancy, I guess you could put some uh, like window foam, uh, that self-adhesive foam that you put around windows and seals and doors and stuff. But normally I just grab a rag and stick it on there and whatever it is I'm trying to mix up, paint, can, whatever, jam it in, that'll hold it in there. The more off-center it is, the better. And then just run that baby. And every now and then, go ahead and reverse the direction on it. It's a lot easier to do that for a couple of minutes than it is to sit there and try to shake that sucker by hand. And when you're done, because that ball's in there, and because you keep reversing directions, you get all of the solids in your paint mixed in, especially in the uh, winter, like it is now, when it's cold. You want to make sure you get those paints shaken up well. For example, let's uh, aim this camera out the window. It's winter. It's cold. <laughs> the paint cans are cold. So you want to get all those solids mixed up really well. And uh, this little uh, spray can paint spinner uh, does the job for me.